What about focusing on energy intake? What I want you to do is find the largest white space on the handout or get a new piece of paper from your, the pad of paper that many of you have brought with you. And I want you in the upper left hand corner of this white space or new sheet of paper is to simply write down the hour that you woke up this morning. So if you woke up at, I don't know, 6.15, just put 6 o'clock. If you woke up at 7.20, put 7 o'clock. But put the first hour or part of an hour that you were awake this morning. It should be 5, 6, or 7. If it's 8 o'clock, congratulations on getting here on time. And then, subsequent rows, just keep going down. If it was 6 o'clock, then 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m., keep going down the left-hand side. That column is an hour for each hour of the day. 10 a.m., 11, 12 noon, 1, until the bottom number on the left-hand column is what time you woke up, or I'm sorry, what time you went to bed, typically. What time you went to bed last night, for example. Now the only, well, a major reason why the following can work is you have to be very specific. What I ask you to do is to list down in each of the hours in which it occurred, what did you put in your mouth? So if you woke up at 6.20, and you have 6 o'clock as your first hour on your list there. Right next to it, you might put, I don't know, water. Eight ounces is equivalent of water. Maybe it was medication. But be specific, because if you put coffee in the 6 o'clock hour, did you have one cup, or two cups, or three cups? If you add, I don't know, sugar, sugar substitute, cream, non-dairy creamer, if you have two teaspoons of sugar per cup of coffee, and you had two cups of coffee in an hour, then you're putting down at least two coffee, comma, four sugar, comma. And this morning, I don't know, maybe in the seven o'clock, eight o'clock hour, did you have a muffin? Well, don't just put down muffin. Put down whether it was an English muffin or a double chocolate chip muffin, right? In fact, it wasn't just an English muffin you had, you put down English muffin, comma, butter, comma, jam. It matters whether you're putting down a glass of orange juice or an actual orange. If you had eggs, how many? Were they whole eggs or egg whites? Then go through, this morning, maybe you had another cup of coffee before you left the house or filled the travel mug. When you show up here, before nine o'clock, that's still the eight o'clock hour, did you have another cup of coffee? Or two? Did you add cream to each of those? Or NutraSweet or Sweet Mo or whatever? When you get to 12 o'clock, one o'clock, lunch, don't just put down that you had a turkey sandwich. You put down turkey, comma, what kind of cheese? comma, lettuce, comma, tomato, comma, mustard, what kind of bread. Get very specific. Did you have pickles? Doritos? Coke? Diet Coke? Anytime since you woke up this morning, you take more medication? When you get to the mid-afternoon hours, did you succumb to that marketing campaign that every day at 2 o'clock is Snickers time, right? Do you have a cookie, brownie, some chips, maybe a Diet Coke, Mountain Dew? Write down whenever you can remember, did you have an 8 ounce equivalent glass of water in that hour or not? Or maybe two in that hour. You get to the late afternoon, did you participate in a happy hour? Some cheese and crackers, a glass of wine, margarita. For dinner, again, this only works if you're specific. For dinner, don't just put down casserole. What was in the casserole? Tuna, comma, egg noodles, comma, mushrooms, celery, cheese, crouton. If you had salad, good for you. Don't just put down salad. What kind of lettuce was it? Was it iceberg lettuce with a cherry tomato? Or was it mixed greens with spinach? You also put in some cucumbers, some bell pepper, uh, <clears throat> some alfalfa sprouts. What kind of dressing did you put on that salad? 
And finally, nobody else is going to see this, so this is, you know, don't worry. If you had a snack life last night, put it down. But be specific. It wasn't just cookies. Was it two or 12 that you had? What kind of milk did you have with those cookies? Whole milk, 2%, 1% non-fat. Now, I'm only asking you to do this for about a minute. I think we can get many patients in five minutes to get a pretty good 24-hour food recall. But it also includes not just food, but liquids and medication, dietary supplements, vitamins, and so forth. Because the goal right now is for you to have listed at least 20, maybe 25 or more, food ingredients in the last 24 hours. If in the last 24 hours you don't have at least 20 ingredients listed, you have not been specific enough, or you have a very restricted diet. Okay? Now the reason why you want to get to at least 20 or 25 items is because I want you to look over that list and actually <clears throat> circle the three things on that list that you think had the biggest impact on your energy level. Positive or negative, those three cups of coffee in the eight o'clock hour, I would suspect they had a lot to do with your trying to maintain energy. Maybe that candy bar, circle that too, because that absolutely gave you a burst of energy for about 45 minutes, right? But then it might actually affect your lethargy and decline in energy uh, later on. Now, what I, the point I'm trying to make here is the fact that we want to look at how to change our behaviors. The quality of the energy in is going to affect how you know, sustained that energy will be. Well, and I also understand that dehydration, why was it so important that you start to write down how many eight ounce of different glasses of water you've had? Because there's evidence now showing us that many people are confusing mild dehydration with hunger. Now, if that hunger pain hits you, merge a couple of different studies in the peer-reviewed literature to do the following. Understand that the average urge for something sweet lasts eight to nine minutes. Can you do something different for eight or nine minutes? The evidence also shows we are more able to insert a new healthy behavior into our repertoire than to eliminate an old negative one. So, when you have that hunger pain for a cookie or something sweet, down a small bottle of water. Or, and, have a small piece of fruit. A banana, orange, apple, something like that. This actually really works best if you still can have a candy bar. Don't deprive yourself of the candy bar. But the studies show that when you do this insertion of a healthy behavior while you have this urge, less than half the time you end up having the candy bar. But you only do it because you tell yourself, I can have a candy bar if I want. But you've just changed not only your routine and your habit, you've probably ingested hopefully some good fiber, uh, certainly something with nutritional content and so forth. So, I mean, a lot of things to be thinking about in terms of how we change our energy intake. Kid is at the dining room table asking his parents, how come they don't have mad <coughs> cauliflower disease? <laughs> I like this one. A woman's at a restaurant telling the waiter, look, I'm going to order broiled skinless chicken breast, but I want you to bring me lasagna and garlic bread by mistake. <laughs> uh, intentions, actions, I don't know. <laughs> 